Christine Latte has been nominated for every acting award from the Academy to the Golden Globe, but always for supporting actress, playing opposite such notables as Richard Dreyfuss or Al Pacino, Mary Tyler Moore, Goldie Hawn, to drop a few names. Well, now she has the lead role, the starring role, in a film called Housekeeping. It's a Bill Forsyth film opening next week. Is this going to be the movie that makes Christine Lottie a household name? They were all supposed to do that. Oh. See, this is going to be the one, Christine. I don't know. I don't know. I think it's, um, it's not a blockbuster movie. Uh, it's a small movie and um, kind of offbeat. And I don't know. I, I really love this movie. If, if you've seen Bill Forsyth movies, local hero, Gregory's Girl, to say a small movie is, is a very nice thing to say. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You have a reputation for taking some, some offbeat roles. Who are you this time? I play Sylvie, who is um, an eccentric, uh, to say the least. Some people might call her insane, but I think that she's just eccentric. Uh, she's a transient. She rides around in freight cars and um, has odd jobs around the country. And this takes place in 1952. And she's... She uh, takes in her two orphaned nieces. Right. She comes back to Fingerbone, Idaho, to raise her two or Fingerbone in <laughs> Great Town, <laughs> to raise her two orphan nieces. Yeah. And the town can't quite tolerate Sylvie's ways. They the nieces are a little perplexed, too. Yeah. We have a clip uh, wherein the nieces are uh, uh, caught playing hooky by their aunt, but she doesn't punish them. How many takes did that scene take? A lot. Too many. You burned up a lot of curtains? <laughs> yes. Yeah? All yeah. right. Now, you were su I'm supposed to be interviewing Diane Keaton. This role oh. was, was originally intended for Diane Keaton? Right. And then she dropped out, and it was at Canon Films, and then I took over, and it was at Columbia. Will she be gnashing her teeth? Oh, I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Why is it that, uh, or is it that, sometimes actresses are put into a category with others? Like you might be in the, oh, sort of a Diane Keaton... Type. Is I, it, does it work that way? Yeah, I think it's something really profound and complex like tall and brunette. Uh -huh. who, who else is in the tall and brunette category oh, with you? I guess Sigourney Weaver is tall and brunette. Oh, poor thing. Yeah. <laughs> Wouldn't mind being in that category myself. Bill Forsyth it, it, it almost gives you uh, co-directing credit. What does he mean by that? Well, he's very generous and it's not quite accurate. I coached uh, one little girl one day, really. Um, they're, they weren't trained actresses. They were cast because they were so close to the characters themselves. And I, t I just coached this little girl because she couldn't cry very easily. And I manipulated her and told her terrible things about herself so, so that she would cry. <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, 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 uh, seriously, you gave her acting tips yes, or you, or you yeah. reduced her to psychological blubber? I did that. Yeah, I did the, the latter. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's laughing. I don't know about you. Are you any... You're, I mean, you're not... Um, nobody's ever said you were mad. They have always said you were a great actress. Are you anything like... Uh, Sylvie? Sylvie? At times, yes. I really could identify with Sylvie. A little yeah. touched. A little touched. I can't quite toe the line. You know, start to draw my own sometimes, and it doesn't quite fit the norm. Yeah. Well, good. It's important for the rest of us to know where the line is by people like you who don't tow it. Well, I guess. Yeah. yeah. Thank you, Christine. Thank you. And we'll be back in a moment. This is Today on NBC. <laughs>